I got a hot tip about the next big thing, so I figured I'd take Marge along. She'd know what questions to ask. Hot tip. Yeah, right. 3D. The next big thing. From a distance, I kept an eye out while Marge worked the room. I was laying low and staying under the radar. That's when Cameron spotted me. But Cameron knows the score, so he didn't blow my cover. He just walked on by. So I got back to the matter at hand. Alex Ben Block. The man with the magic lapel pin. Marge took charge and suggested they have a little sit down. Well, if this is going to work, I believe in 2010, it's going to get a terrific test. By the time Avatar comes out in 2010, we, sh we should have as many as uh, 7,000 theaters uh, in the United States installed with equipment that will allow the projection of 3D. And so far, exhibitors are thrilled. They've been able to not only bring in more, more in, in some cases, new customers, but they're charging a premium price. Why is this suddenly so popular again? Well, let's talk about the history a little bit. If you go back to the 50s, what was going on was television had arrived. And theaters were looking for something that was an alternative, a gimmick, something to bring people in that they couldn't get at home. What's happened in the 90s and into the 2000s is the arrival of digital technology. Digital. It always comes back to digital. Well, digital wasn't going to pay for itself. Who's going to install these digital projectors? How much are they going to cost? Who's going to pay for it? And so uh, the big question was, who's going to install those digital projectors? How much are they going to cost? Who's going to pay that cost? You know, the whole digital conversion is being paid for with this virtual print system where uh, distributors, the people who own the movies, are going to pay a fee each time it's distributed uh, over digital, even though there's no physical print to make anymore, and then that money is going to go into a fund that is going to be used uh, in order to put digital projectors in all these theaters. So the exhibitors, for the most part, uh, in the U.S. and worldwide, are not going to pay for the digital conversion. They do, however, pay for the 3D conversion. Uh, if you uh, take the, for instance, Real D, uh, which is the leading provider of systems for theaters, has installed 1,600 theater systems so far, 1,400 in the United States, 200 overseas. When you have world-class filmmakers like Bob Zemeckis and Jim Cameron making movies, these are for a big audience and they're made at a big cost, and so they have big expectations. And so uh, a lot of people, uh, and it's been talked about in this conference, see the critical point as the launch of Avatar. So about two weeks before Avatar comes out, suddenly everybody's gonna say, hey, there's 3D. There have been vast improvements in the 3D technologies. It was pretty obvious Ben Block's patience was wearing thin. I could see Marge's persistence was grinding him down, so I gave Marge a signal to wrap it up. So can you speak a, a little about what's been going on? In I didn't want him getting wise to our game. Well, what, what's happening is that a lot more filmmakers, a lot more distributors, a lot more movie companies are now involved in 3D. And so what we're seeing is not so much a big change in the technology as refinements. People are finding the right lenses, the right camera systems. And so what's evolving really is the creative side of it more. That people are learning how to use this thing as a tool, as a way to give audiences new thrills that they've never had before. And that's what cinema's all about. Going to a movie, experiencing something you haven't experienced before. And if that happens, that's exciting. Cameron texted me on the sly. The text said the fellow behind him was someone of interest. Said his name was Pace. Vince Pace. It said he was a man who knew what's up behind this 3D thing. Yeah, well, I was behind him. And I knew this. He didn't know what was ahead of him. He was about to get a big 3D dose of Marge. <laughs>